Here's 10 surprising members of the mint family and what they're good for. Number one is patchouli. Now, I usually think of hippies when I think about this herb, but in fact, this plant is really good for inflammation. It can help with depression. Externally, it can be used for wound healing, and it's really good to help with your digestion. Number two on the list is lavender. This smelly plant actually has some medicinal properties. It's known to be a good sedative. It can help with stress relief. It's also a good pain reliever, and in fact, it has some very potent antimicrobial properties too. Pretty neat, huh? Number three, rosemary is much more than just a spice. It's known to support brain function, it can improve memory, it can boost your energy levels, and it's antimicrobial in and of itself too. Number four is basil. This tasty herb is actually a very potent antibacterial herb. It can help improve digestive function. It's a powerful antioxidant and can remove free radicals and can even improve kidney functions to help with detox. Number five on the list is oregano. Oregano is well known to be an antiviral herb. This can help support lung health as it's a bronchial dilator. It can allow for better airflow in your lungs. It's a very gentle expectorant, so it can remove mucus and phlegm from the lungs very gently. And it's great for digestive issues as well. Number six is thyme. Now thyme is well known as an antimicrobial, so it can be effective against bacteria, viruses, and fungi. It's also a very gentle expectorant. It's an antiseptic, so when applied topically, it can help keep out the bad bacteria that could cause problems, and it's also a very decent pain reliever. Number seven is sage. Sage is also known to help improve brain and cognitive function. It's a great anti-inflammatory herb and can relieve inflammation both in joints and in organs. It's an antioxidant herb as well, so it can remove oxidative markers in your body, and it's a very potent antimicrobial herb too. Number eight is catnip, and it's one of my favorite herbs of the mint family because it's gentle enough for a newborn baby, but strong enough for a manly man. Now, this is known to be a very powerful sedative, so it could be helpful for stress and anxiety. This is good for colic in infants and newborns or for adults, and it also helps to boost your digestive system. This is also a very powerful antibacterial herb, too. Number nine is spearmint, and though you might not be surprised that it's on the list, you probably will be surprised by the medicinal properties. It, it's another good lung herb, it's a gentle decongestant and a bronchial dilator, it can help boost digestive function, it's a detox herb, it's a gentle diuretic so it can help flush your kidneys out, and it's also another powerful antioxidant so it can help remove oxidative markers that are in your body. Last but certainly not least is number 10, peppermint. Now, I know you may not be surprised that it's on the list, but you might be surprised that peppermint's actually considered a hybrid mint. Most likely it's a mix between spearmint and wintermint, and it has a slew of medicinal properties. This is a well-known analgesic or pain reliever. It can uh, help relieve cramping and spasms. It's antimicrobial, so it can help fight off a virus, bacteria, or a fungi. And if applied topically, it can help soothe irritated and hot skin. Now that's all I have for the Mint family, and if you like this particular video, make sure you let me know in the comments so I can continue producing content that you actually want to see. Thanks for watching.